I'm going to start a new series on using Kevlar to build recovery systems. I started using Kevlar because the elastic cords and elastic and the anchors that are inside the body tubes are somewhat problematic when you try to build more advanced recovery systems like what I have been doing. Uh, in keeping with the Kevlar, I actually use this Kevlar, which is interesting. Uh, this is a 100 pound Kevlar cord. It is 0.8 of a millimeter. It's extremely thin. It's like a very thick dental floss, but it's very, very thin. I use this on the very small rockets like the Gnome and the High Flyer. Gnome has a 0.5 and the High Flyer has a 0.74 body tube. This is a really small, easy to pack inside of a small rocket body tube. So this is the, uh, the, this, the thin Kevlar. For everything else above that, the BT-50s and up, I use this Kevlar, which is 1.2 millimeters. This is a 300 pound cord. Now 100 and even 300 are way overkill as far as the rocket stress goes. So it's unlikely these will ever be pulled apart. But uh, they are very important because they are fire resistant. So these cords are connected to the fin and then they go inside the body or they're connected to the engine mount. So they need to take a lot of abuse. They need to take the heat of the engine. So that's why I use the Kevlar cords uh, to connect uh, to, the, uh, to the body. And it's connected down deep inside the, uh, by the engine mount or onto the fin. So this again is 1.2 millimeters, the uh, 300 pound cord. I buy this in 200 foot spools. The next part of Kevlar that I use is the blanket. The blanket is a Kevlar felt. This entire piece of Kevlar felt weighs only six grams. So if you slice this up, a piece like this, which could wrap a half inch streamer, is only 0.3 of one gram. Very, very light stuff. But this is very tough, very, very tough. Um, it is fire resistant. Again, you can burn through it, so you still have to use wadding, but it does give a final degree of protection for your recovery system. This is also important to keep streamers from unwinding. So you put this around your streamer, that way it won't unwind in the body tube. It also helps the slide out because this is nice and slippery. You got a very nice material to use for your recovery system. Now this is a felt rather than a fabric. A fabric is made out of a lot of threads all woven together. This felt though is many, many uh, little fibers all crushed together. And in doing so, it doesn't have any thread direction. So you can cut this in any arbitrary shape without it fraying. So these, this is what I use to protect the, uh, the actual recovery uh, mechanism itself, such as the parachute or streamer. So these are the three things, a, uh, a 0.8, 1.2, and a millimeter, and Kevlar felt, and I can build an entire recovery system out of all these materials. Now these materials do have some interesting characteristics, which, which we'll look at in the next video.